Live from the edge of Austin, a total side quest from Far Cry 6. The, bri- <laughs> the That Brian is totally playing. It's going to be a great night. Now get your spooky gear together and understand that Virginia is for birthdays. Because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Spooky skeletons, spooky skeletons, demons and and murderers, murderers demons and and demons, people who kill other people, also rapists, Uh, (laughs) what uh, what else they got, uh, 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 the people who don't report these crimes (laughs) are also (laughs) complicit, that's right, (laughs) and demons and skeletons getting it. Spectral. A corrupt justice system that lets the bad guys free. Uh, and Frankenstein <laughs> and Frankenstein's monster. They're both bad. <laughs> and Frankenstein's wife. Who? <laughs> Wait, Frankenstein's wife or Frankenstein's monster's wife? The bride of Frankenstein. I don't know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Happy Halloween, beautiful Happy people. Happy Halloween, How are you everybody. Yay! Yay! For the audio uh, listeners, let's, uh, let's describe our our costumes here. Uh, yeah, I uh, it turns out you are what you eat, uh, and Justin eats breathalyzer. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Justin, you're blowing a sixty nine point six nine. Is that is that uh, the, I believe that's above the local limit. That's here? above the legal <laughs> limit, man. You're fucking cooked, bro. <laughs> you better you better not blow me, or else uh, Se- you're going to jail. Serious question. Let's say you're you're 100 percent stone sober. You get pulled over for a, a minor violation that may or may not even be true. Like uh, like uh, I'm not sure I saw you uh, use your signal change or yeah. whatever. Your uh, two realities: one, you're dressed normally; uh, the other, you're wearing this. <laughs> I'm dressed like a breathalyzer. Correct. Uh, uh, do they both have the same outcome? And if not, how far off are they? I have found that <laughs> <laughs> in all of your your multi-dimensional time travel. I found. <laughs> uh, we've told this story on the air, right? Yeah. How I got out of a DUI. Oh, but uh, we love hearing it again. This one is news to me. Great. Have, I, have I only told this privately? All right. <laughs> but in a different state, man. You don't so, even live there. That's um, double jeopardy. We're, yeah, we're, 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 two, we're two states away at this point. It, I'm living in four, Florida. Four. Shocker. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm coming back from the bar, and I'm a little, like, I'm, I'm, it would have been a problem. I'm not. I'm not wasted, but it. it, it, it I would not have felt comfortable using a breath. Uh, you. You know for a fact that all things being equal, you. You uh, could not state with certainty what the outcome would be. Yeah. Which wow, is a good reason to not. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. yeah. Nicely said. Uh, yes. Thank you, Doctor Weed. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go ahead and yeah, get a shot. Like, can yeah. we, Corey, can you gotta get a shot of, of Doctor Weed? Is, uh, I, is is Doctor Green Weed? Hey, yeah, where's guys. your weed, bro? Hey, yeah, where, where's your? I got a prescription. So, so everyone knows that you're a weed doctor. He has a a, a, a weed leaf shaved prescription pad. Hey, everybody! It did not come with a pen. No, no. no. I, I have one now. But 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 you know what you're gonna get is a vape pen. Uh, there we go. Dr. Oh, Weed. you've seen Doctor Greenweed. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's and we, cool. Oh, and we also have Doctor Doctor Jomo in the house I'm as just well. A scientist. He's just I'm a scientist. Related. He's not related to that guy. We're really just <laughs> Ghostbusters. That's yeah, really what saying. we are. You're just the guy who has a beef with Mr. Fake Doctor over here <laughs> because he can do a taller Ollie than you can. All I'd like to say is science, bro. <laughs> science. Uh, so I, uh, uh, lights flash in the back. I pull over and I am like, uh, uh, oh, like, this is it. This is, this is where I got to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to flow and and right. all the shit that comes along with it and so uh the cop's like uh, oh where are you headed i'm like oh i literally just live you know yeah. about five minutes away blah 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 which by the way i don't think we've ever explored this part you made a decision what did you decide i'm from florida my man you don't blow <laughs> <laughs> okay got it got you it, don't got blow it, got, ever, it, got it got ever. it got it all right uh uh so uh <laughs> the 
I'm, this is a terrible story to tell. It's a great publicly. story. It's a great uh, story. The officer says, "Yes, what is that in your back seat?" Now, at that time, I was shipping magic DVDs for your friend of mine, Andrew Maine. Yeah, that was part of my job. By all means, took... let's bring him into this story. I'm just saying it's important for this. It's important. For yes, because I tell the officer exactly what I told you. I'm I, I sell magic books and DVDs. I help, uh, you know, fulfilling the shipping for that. And he's like, "Wow, magic!" And I'm like. Yes, magic. <laughs> what, what would you like to know about magic? And like, I'm not a magician, but when you hang out with enough magicians, the fastest way to have magicians explain their tricks to you is not ask them. If you feel greatly uninterested in how magicians do their tricks, they will eventually, because they need to prove how clever they are, spoil their tricks for you so they can tell you how clever <laughs> these I, methods are. I can are. 100% vouch for this. Yeah. So why know fucking true. everything? Right? Yes. And so I'm like, Oh, magic. What, what do you want to know? Uh, Dave, uh, 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 Chris Angel, David Copperfield, David Blaine. What do, what do you want to know? I will, I, will, I will spoil for you any magic trick right <laughs> you're, now. You're like that dude Cheech Marin played in Dust Till Dawn. He's, yes. like, he's like, I got big magic, small <laughs> magic, wet magic, dry <laughs> magic. So the guy's like, hmm. How does David Blaine float? <laughs> yes and i'm like funny enough i can show you uh, and he's like really and i'm like yeah and so uh, i'm like can i get out of the car officer <laughs> he's like sure yeah so i get out of the car and uh, google it belducci effect uh it eventually ends so, but, but 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 it looks like you know here's here's justin with his arms out stand, uh, yeah. extended wow. with his back to to the police officer yeah. he's like can the, you touch the your blue nose while and we're red here lights <laughs> flashing all over him and so, in a so desolate I'm, and, and and i'm and i'm floating well, a little bit uh, off the like, ground like, you know sort of sort of like 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 uh, you know it, it looks a little bit like jazzercise yeah uh, <laughs> and then uh and then and then uh more blue and red lights show up. Indeed, sure. Brian. More cops show up. Jeez. Was this like, illegal magic or? <laughs> the cop, the cop, <laughs> turns out the magic cafe has their own, <laughs> yeah, their own wing. <laughs> In that other car. It was yeah. David so Another cop shows up. And the other cop goes, what are you guys doing? And the first cop goes, he's showing us magic. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh. I thought you were having him do a sobriety walk. <laughs> At which point I'm like, just let it stop here. <laughs> like, I showed you magic, right? And he's like, yeah. All right, man, back in the car. <laughs> and, then I, and then I got written a ticket because what I had done was not slow down to 15 miles an hour when there's a cop that, having on the side. siren right, right, going, right. Yeah. which That's is a soft trick. way that yeah. they do DUI. Stops, but I showed yeah. this motherfucker magic and I got away. Fucking, you nice. counterspelled with magic. I did. Yeah. I literally <laughs> counterspelled with magic. Entrapment. <laughs> Justin <laughs> replies with counterspell. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> and then I was super pissed that I had to get that ticket. I, yeah. I, still, I still want to fight it. Uh, uh, you know what? That's one. That's one that I'm gonna. Uh, I, 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 I. All things being equal, it was the way to go. Bryce, what's our first topic? Also, I dressed as the light beer. R I P G. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, since Halloween is a uh, holiday about death and despair, uh, uh, Brett, you start us off. It's a time that yeah, we all I'll come, come together and, uh, and and we reflect on on dark thoughts, yeah. uh, spooky goblins. Yep. We play our favorite hymn, the Monster Mash. We do. And uh, Well, here, hold on. Do do <laughs> Dr. Dr. Greenweed is showing up. What, what you have to understand is that uh, uh, Brett did not know I was I was buying costumes, and he did not know that he would eventually become Doctor Greenweed. No. But if we can please pan down a little bit, just to show how much he looks like the guy on Santa Monica Beach trying to sell you weed. It's <laughs> just a lab and lab coat. Coat. It's, no, it's a... no, If I was wearing sandals, this would it, this would sell even more. But uh... all right, Doctor, uh, uh, what happened? Uh, well, as of Thursday. Uh, I became not a Jeep person anymore. Wow. This is, is this, Brian, do you find this to be a betrayal? Uh, listen, I try not to judge those on their path through life, but, uh, 
I do keep a shiv on me at all times. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> for, for, for those who stray from the path. Uh, really? Is it one of those deals to where I say I'm no longer a Jeep driver and then you... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, no, no, no. What's wrong with your Jeep? Well, uh, so I'm driving home. Everything seems to be fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing 85 down the Mopac. How do you even? How is that even possible? It's it, all downhill when you come from north to south. I, 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 you and I both have the same Wrangler style. It's yes. a it's a box that is a sail. That That's is, right. It's very difficult to get to that speed. You know, I've been doing this for 20 something years. Okay. So uh, as of 99, I was I've been a Jeep owner this whole time. Yeah. So I'm feeling good. I get to the overpass. <laughs> uh, it is funny where for you to be a character is. Dr. Greenweeds talking about how you're feeling good. Feeling good. You know, I'm a little high. Yeah. So I right. uh, smoked a little bit of the doobage. You got it. Now I've seen everything. Yeah. And uh, suddenly I hear the engine change sounds. The, the sound. You know, you know how you know when suddenly it's like, wait, this is not what my car sounds like. Did it do the thing where it goes from like, like, to wee? And not, not, not that bad. Okay. But it was more like a, and i'm like wait a minute that's, that's not how question. this is yes and so i check my gear my 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 uh, uh privilege yes i check my privilege <laughs> and there on the privilege uh the oil gauge is now gone from 40 which is where the oil pressure oh, usually is yeah, yeah. That's a good one. and now it's starting to drop you used to have the privilege of driving safely yes and now, and now, now, you now not so much happens. yeah no. okay and i'm hitting the overpass to go on to 183 and there's a stop so i slow down and suddenly my engine goes dad yeah it, it calls to its dad, dad. it goes <laughs> <laughs> okay all right and i'm like oh shit so i pull over yeah on the overpass okay and uh go fuck 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. uh call my my mechanic and say okay so i just turned off my car because it stopped um what to do and he goes well try to get it over the other side we'll get a, a tow truck for you turn the car back on and it shouts for its dad again yes it says dad <laughs> dad and it's not moving and so the tow truck eventually shows up yeah and uh we take it and he goes your engine sees dude like, like so as i understand it the only way that happens is if i'm not gonna say you <laughs> But the per someone, the person who is responsible for the car, sure, failed to put oil in it. That is not what happened. Oh, because the mechanic said, "Well, there's plenty of oil in it." Oh, mm. you're okay. See, he said that right after the first yes. thing. Yes, yeah. yeah. After when they looked at, it, he goes, "I did the diagnostics." Yeah. So uh, it's. Yeah, I'm just telling you, you need a new engine. With it, what caused it to seize? Uh, he's like, maybe the oil pump. So then I. Had the car transported to Just Jeeps, <laughs> which is a place that, for some now, reason, only there? works Just, on Jeeps. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and the and guy morally they, courageous Jeeps. Yeah, that. Yes. Exactly. They're Just Jeeps. And very, by the way. Very uh, sober Jeeps. Yes, very much. <laughs> They're Just very Jeeps. Very Jeeps. Yeah. Very Jeeps. It's like, hey, do you? No. There's only Jeeps. seven of them, and they're yeah. appointed for life. That's it. <laughs> he, they're monks. They're monks. Yes. They wear yeah. monk robes. Yep. yep. And they're like, and they mode up, bonk. So anyway, yeah, that's a whole anyway. Ready? Uh, so he and of course a couple of days go between the first mechanic and the second mechanic, and my wife Ek, who I where is my camera? Where's my camera? I'm on. You're yeah. on all of them. Yeah. Who I love very much said, "We are not spending more money on that Jeep." Uh, all right, now keep in mind, keep in mind. I subscribe uh, to the Jeep subreddit where people are always posting, I just paid $748,000 for this 1962 piece of broken garbage. Yes. So I, I'm just like, 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 clearly there's a market for old busted Jeeps. Yes. Is there, is there a part on the subreddit where they tell you how to convince your wife? Most of those people don't have wives. So, uh, wow. Yeah, did, did, so, did, this did motherfucker has not been a Jeep guy for did, five minutes, and he's already taking big <laughs> shots at our <laughs> side. <laughs> he's also oh wicked hot God. on his own supply. Oh, I'm Dr. Weed. Wow. wow. So, 
So it ended up the guy who really knows Jeeps that is super Jeepy. Yep. That's, said, an, that's an incel. He said, bro, he is an incel. <laughs> he is definitely an incel. Because when I called him first and said, I, I need advice. And he goes, dude, I can't advise you about your marriage. And I was like, after your four divorces? No, I Jesus totally get that. Christ. So, yes. Uh, you know a lot about your mechanic. These 20 people <laughs> fucking talk. Bro, 20 years. I've same guy, guy, same mechanic. Okay. Same mechanic. Okay. It's just Jeeps. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, he, But I know he's got three uh, engines there, and I'm just going to sell the thing to him. Yeah. And I'm going to go my middle age crazy and get a little sporty car. Uh, surely it's going to be a super cool, stylish, yes. like a Tesla. No. Uh, something. I can't afford a Tesla. Oh, what are you man. kidding well, me? It would be even cooler. Uh, 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 a Lamborghini. A Jeep. A no, not a Jeep. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I love my wife, is what yes. I'm telling you. So I'm going to stick with the Hyundais. I'm getting a Veloster Rally. Here sport. we go. Strong Korean cars, good game. Are you getting popular. it from from Himbo Hyundai? Are you doing? Yeah, Himbo I'm gonna Hyundai? get it from Himbo Hyundai. That's exactly <laughs> right. Uh, can Bryce go with you? Can I? Uh, <laughs> you just come, need a second we're going driver. To Houston you know, on Saturday. Just, I'll you pick you up, ahead. and then we'll go, and then. <laughs> I, Ladies and gentlemen, Brett's dead Jeep. Thank Brett's dead you. Jeep, everybody. God bless. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that, oh, that did was you, our did spooky you? ghost story. Ooh, it's the ghost. If I'm not careful, it may come back to haunt me because he's going to fix it, and I'm going to see it out on the road. It, so. If you're not careful, it may come oh, back shit. to honk you. Ah! Get out of Brett, here. Bryce, what's our next topic? It's a very good hat. Uh, Justin's hat. I got a hat. It says it's America a, it, on it. It's a jean hat. It says America on 1776 it. 1776 matches the color of your breathalyzer costume. Of my costume. breathalyzer costume. It does yeah. really match your breathalyzer. Very well. uh, 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 but th this is a hat that I found on the free bench of my old apartment. Oh. Uh, I didn't pay anything for it. Oh. Uh, Bryce, do you have a hat? Well, yeah. I mean, I... <laughs> I, I did recently come into possession of a of a new hat. It, sorry, uh, 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 Bryce. Hello. Is yes. this part of your costume? Uh, because I mean, I, I mean, first of all, I still don't know is that, who you is something, are. Is something? Is uh, something? Sorry, is something amiss? Well, I, I mean, I, I, you, you didn't have the hat on before. Now yeah. You have the hat on. Oh, well, just because so. you know, it's a good. It's a nice hat. You know, I just recently got this hat, and I. So are you really a nice. fan of the Tennessee Volunteers? Like orange and white. That's a that's well, the volunteers color. Are you a volunteer? Well, we, uh, you you it's, like the ducks? Is that why it's white and yellow? Oh, it does look like a duck, doesn't it? Uh, it does. Yeah. It, it looks does, like like, like a, yeah. That's yeah. What I was thinking. Yeah, it, it does look like you're cosplaying it, Howard the Duck. It does look like I'm cosplaying <laughs> Howard the Duck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Howard the Duck. Okay. Fucking get this man a cocktail, dude. For God's sake. <laughs> Fucking gears on a clock, bro. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Surely there's nothing cooler than cosplaying always as as Howard the Duck. The, so so I got this hat and um, <laughs> it's a very nice hat. I got it while I was at the F the Formula One race over the weekend. Oh, that was the thing that we promised to go to. <laughs> <laughs> And so we were gonna did you pay him $180 to not go? go? We didn't go. No, we didn't go because we found out that you had to sit through a bunch of cars going yeah, in circles. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And you couldn't just go of... straight to the part where Billy yeah, Joel where played. Where Billy Joel played. <laughs> <laughs> they you don't even set like... up his stage until the racing is like, done. Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch. And this shit goes on all fucking a day. Long it's time. always a long day. God damn. <laughs> But I, These cars, we fucking get it. <laughs> they're they're I, fast. I, I, whatever. I am a I am a recent transplant. I'm a recently into Formula One, and I yeah. don't really have any merch. And I I've been wearing hats a lot lately, so I thought I'll go 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 to the race. I can so get a go, hat. Okay, all right. So it's a merch thing. So it's like, yeah. all right, so you normally when you're at the venue, you pay a little bit more for merch. So something like sure. sure that would normally be fifteen. You pay thirty something like that. Yeah, you might pay double the price of pay double the price. Yeah, really just a pin in this okay. because I need to, without judgment, have something explained to me. Uh, uh, your casual language implied that a perfectly normal thing is that if you like a thing, you must have merch of it. Sure. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I you never, you never heard of that. I. I. I like Far Cry Six very much. I would never. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. You right. would never We're run back. out and, and buy a Far Cry 6 ascot? Ooh. And ask see, you. okay, see, see, it's just, you just need the right shape. You, you are just one, need the right shape. You are one targeted ad away at any <laughs> fucking moment. I might rock a Far Cry ascot <laughs> if somebody could find me such a thing. Go ahead. Back so, to your story. Go so for it. I go to the McLaren merchandise tent and I say, oh my goodness, look at all this great gear. I would like to get a hat. I have been wearing a hat. Like, can I get, can I get that hat? All right, so what, uh, I'm actually very curious, very quickly. Yeah. What other merch do they have at the Formula One store? It's, also, also just yeah. as a percentage, how close to a straight up carnival is this? Like, like it like, is a, it is 90% just a regular carnival and there are cars there. But I would, but I would imagine that it's F1. So it's like classy. So they've got like one hat and then like a baccarat set and then like <laughs> a, a, a long cigarette holder. Sure. Like four, four badminton rackets. Four, yeah. <laughs> uh, a human slave. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's twice as much as the, what the normal human slave cost is. A desiccated hand that says from the lady he loved with no explanation. <laughs> It was like that. What else, what was what else was on the merch? <laughs> it was oh, now I want to go into this whole <laughs> please believe it or not. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. It it was very meat and potato stuff. There were a bunch of different hats. There was some shirts, some jackets. They really thought it would be cold this time of year because when they were here two years ago at this time, it was cold. So they expected it would not be 80, 90 degrees. So, so it was they a lot totally of jackets. misunderstood what global warming is. It, they Got certainly it. didn't read a uh, weather website. <laughs> At, at least so yeah. it was what, what, what was weatherwebsite.com <laughs> <laughs> what was the most exotic mclaren branded item yeah on the menu a, a a mini alligator the most exotic probably would have been like soap no they <laughs> i they really didn't have a lot of little things it was very like no, shirts and not. hats uh, they didn't uh, i like i speculum <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was, I mean. It, what a classy one. It was really shined up. It, it was, was a it, you could see, you could That's eat right. off it. <laughs> it had the little nostril logo etched onto it. <laughs> um, it was just like flags, I think would be like the most like Flag. out there. Flag. Like, but it was not a Flag. lot of little weird stuff, which I, I would have liked a, some options. But, but instead your eyes you, but, but trained you, down on that hat. I got to get a hat. I like, I've been wearing hats. It, I would, I would be down. I wear a, I do have a duck's hat. I, I don't. Okay. So here, oh, uh, shit. Uh, we, we have, we have talked what about this a lot. With so we know, hat? we, we know where this goes. Jomo has no idea. Jomo, if you could come over to Brett's mic over there. Yeah, come on over. Yeah. That's right. I, I, uh, we need a here. consorsium right of doctors I, to I, get together. Yeah, doctors. A legitimate together. doctor and weed can I, doctor. Can I ask a question first? Yes. Yeah. What's McLaren? Uh, okay, so it's my man. I what love you. It? What is it? It's it's a racing is team. It a drug company? <laughs> it's, yes. Well, no, it's, it's it's a racing it company. It does look like swag you would get at a pharmaceutical convention. It does. Yeah, that is exactly yeah. what yeah. it looks like. It looks cheap as shit. <laughs> like these, I want to see, <laughs> I wanna see these two fucking doctors bidding on this on this pharmaceutical swag. Yeah. Wait, over okay, here. so hold on. We're like what, a panel what, of doctors. Yeah. What what do, what do you guys think <laughs> that that hat? costs like um, and not not what bryce bought it for but and how much it in costs dollars, to make but in in honor yeah, in the, uh, in <laughs> i would say well it's mclaren yeah oh, golf. so like a completely ridiculous price would be like 55 dollars because that's like a a three dollar hat Okay, Jomo, what do you think? You're asking about honor. What does the honor part mean? Uh, is, well, I, I I guess what I'm saying is on your honor, uh, express in the number of Brett's Jeeps, uh, how much that <laughs> wow. hat is worth. That 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 drew some blood. <laughs> nice. Um, I'd say that hat. Since I don't, I'm not. Su it looks good. I'll say that. I'll start start with that. Okay, there we I'd go. That's a one worth, in the plus column. Um. $32. Yeah. $32. That's, that's a completely reasonable price. All right. So so Brett said okay. 55. I said 55. Jomo said 32. Uh, Street value. Uh, hey, Bryce, uh, re 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 real quick. I, I value you very much as a friend. Yeah. Uh, uh, if, if you would like, we could just end the segment right now. 
We won't <laughs> talk about it. We won't reference it. We'll never mention this again. We'll just go right on to the Consider next Consider this the Halloween ghost. Uh, I... Look, man, the price I paid for this, I want everyone to know how much I paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> you got to floss on these hoes. I need to floss on these hoes, Bryce. I need to floss on the hose a little bit. So, uh, Jomo and uh, Brett, this hat cost me at uh, at the race one hundred dollars plus tax. Plus tax. <laughs> Brett looks like he got punched in the gut. <laughs> Dr. Greenweed has wilted. Oh, Jomo, Jomo is wondering if there's an entire <laughs> five stanza song waiting in this. For, for, for the $100 McLaren hat. I, I feel like I need to write a prescription. <laughs> I'll, I'll hit you up after a this. A $100 we'll hat, Bryce. Did you write him a prescription before he bought the hat? I, don't, I think I did. That's what I happened. that was what the problem was. It, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, don't, what, what, yeah. What, what, don't. The funniest thing is that I know Bryce as like he's humble about this and he's like semi embarrassed, but there's only so humble he can be when he's wearing a, a shock white wig, sunglasses <laughs> indoors, and a leather jacket with leather gloves. Dude, like is... he's in, there's like it's impossible for him to do anything other than yeah, motherfuckers, yeah. I do it and I do oh it my again. God, yeah. I only have swag today. That's all I can. This is how you should have went to the race, by the way. You should. This is <laughs> God, a that would have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to do hacking on the on the cars. Just beep, had beep, to peek real quick and see whether or not we lost any patrons. Just <laughs> 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 definitely got a, more than a couple. Oh, so that's what you're doing with the nickels, okay? Yeah, with the bits, the bit money. And the that's right. Add up. Right, but the next topic. Also, also, I got in for free. <laughs> Bobbing for Apple Music. I got a fucking problem, right? Yeah, uh, I know. And I've been waiting to talk about it. Um, we were going to have a whole intervention, and then you showed up dressed as a breathalyzer. <laughs> so I guess you know what it is. <laughs> How awesome would that be if you knew you were getting an intervention? You just showed, showed up, up in this breathalyzer. As a breathalyzer. <laughs> and like, get you, motherfuckers! I wrote it! No, uh, what, 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 uh, sir, what? Uh, also, what, the talking what, beer the is saying all of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've been trying to get into the holiday spirit over at my house. Yeah. Uh, we've been uh, uh, carving out pumpkins. Killing and cats. Stuff. <laughs> oh, shit. Digging up skeletons. Funny you should mention that. We've been playing a lot of uh, these Halloween playlists. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And some of them, like, like they all got so some of the I same stuff. So I was killing stuff. cats yes. <laughs> late the, right. one night. Theatrical horror, right? That's what <laughs> Halloween's about. Theatrical yeah. horror. Yeah. Sure. Things okay. that don't exist. Right. That 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 you sing song. The monster mash. Yeah. Spooky, scary skeletons. Right. Are doo -doo 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 -doo, right? <laughs> like these are. I didn't know Adele had a version of that song. <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> the ghost of Spiro Agnew. He's yeah. running yet again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the. Uh, is, is from a spectral Baltimore, which is where the real Spiro Agnew was hailed from. Look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, I just got flexed uh, by, by the ghost vice president of Major Nixon. Here's the problem with these fucking playlists. Yeah. They're just throwing anything on these things. What do we have? Uh, no, no, no. There's, There's not enough Halloween songs. Hot so they throw any song that has any name that, like, could be related to Halloween. Uh, Bryce, while we discuss this, if you want to just do some searches for like Halloween playlists, yeah. maybe I could understand a little bit better what you're talking about. But it's like, so you, you have you have these songs that just are like like monster or, yeah, or like, Jake, like, like, like that's wait, wait. not about that's not about monsters. No, that's it, about fucking like domestic abuse. Like this shit is not funny. <laughs> it's not fun. You're jamming out like I was in the thing late one night, and the next thing you know, it's like I'm friends with the monster. It's like that's some real <laughs> shit. That's like trauma. Like like fucking Eminem's rapping about punching his like wife and shit, and you're like, this is not theatrically here for Halloween. So, you, so what you're saying is you would not be scared if Eminem was coming at you punching you. No, but you're not supposed to be like scared. It's not like like actually like it, it flashing strobe lights in your face and like all of a sudden you can't talk to your family. Okay, no, 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 like, like that's not Halloween. Halloween is like like a witch is here. I wonder if she'll cast a spell. <laughs> yeah, she but you guys away. You got those Theatrical. classic songs that are clearly about monster like zombie. Zombies about the fucking Irish <laughs> troubles. It's not about people that came out of the ground. 
Zund. Hey, are you sure? Yes. They keep saying zombie though. <laughs> <laughs> With their guns and their bombs See, and they, their guns that, that and their bombs. That's scary to me. Ah, go away, They're still zombies. fighting. <laughs> They're still Sunday me. Bloody Sunday is not like the Halloween song. I don't know. You it seems like it the... should be on that list. Then <laughs> 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 you should be listening to more of these lists. Oh, you should no, be listening I, to I, more I, of these I, lists. I, I'm, I, I, I don't celebrate. Wait, is Biko right, on I've got that a... list as well? Who? I, d- is Biko on the the? Halloween list? It should be. Biko? Yeah, by by Peter Gabriel. Biko? 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 If we keep saying it, will it turn into a word that means something? Well, it was going to be, I thought it was funny. But anyway. (laughs) I didn't know what Biko is. Yeah. It's where they sell the bees. It's yes, where they sell the, exactly the, what it the, the yellow oh, flying guys. Yeah. What, what have you found for us, Professor? <laughs> so I found um, a Halloween party playlist here on Apple Music. Let's take Perfect. a look at the titles. Uh, we got This is Halloween, of course. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, that, of course, from a Christmas fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. But it's about the interplay of those two. Holiday. Sure. That makes sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got. By the way, there's a gigantic Jack Skellington thing that they were selling at Lowe's, and it's all there's like three of them in my neighborhood. But the first time somebody uh, it blew over, and it just looked like a butthole. Oh. And, and I was like, that's a bold move. You put a big old butthole on your on your lawn. Like, it is horrifying. It is horrifying. Yeah. So. Uh, some other song. Okay, somebody's watching me by Rockwell. Of course, classic. We talked about the IRS, the sure. yeah. R- Thriller from Michael Jackson. There okay, yeah. See the, the the old popcorn movie with, with we got with, Ghostbusters. When, when he yeah. sure, to Ghostbusters. Be, she's sure. a necrophile. Uh, monster. Mm. She's uh, literally dating a dead person. Okay, you're right. Yeah, no one does. You're right. <laughs> no one's arguing. Monster. With you. Uh, we got Monster Mash, sp- Spooky Scary Skellingtons, of course. Uh, okay. The Weekend's Blinding Lights. Whoa. What? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. <laughs> oh, go I'm back. S- the, the Weekend. Yeah. Uh, Blinding uh, Lights. Blinding Lights. How scary. What are you, narcoleptic? <laughs> but, oh, wait, what, what's it about? Fucking Blinding Lights. It's a, it's a bop. <laughs> like, look, it's a great song. But, but, but it has nothing Halloween? to do with fucking Halloween. Murder, murder, murder. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd rather hear like uh, like the Ghetto Boys. Death, death Halloween, death, Halloween. <laughs> no, no, come pan on, up, keep it pan up. Let's, <laughs> let's see that. Uh, Wait, let's see the breathalyzer worse. hose teasing there. Teasing somebody into a flash dance <laughs> moment <laughs> and then taking away their music. Oh, well, I, I just don't want us to get popped. You'd have to have um, a real yellow go. and white. Right, what else? What else is there? It's papaya. <laughs> um, we've got the Munsters, the theme of the Munsters. Here we go. Uh, sure. Good one. Uh, uh, Love potion number nine by the uh, searchers? No. Uh, yeah, no, that one is just racist against Romanis. Oof. Wow. Uh, Wait, love potion number nine? Yeah. Yes. Bought it from Ace of a Base. Romani. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sure. Wait, but it wasn't called a Romani. What was it called? Uh, yeah, what was you know, it called? I don't, I, I don't remember. But I'm, I was, I'm too scared to okay. say it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's definitely a Halloween song. <laughs> that one fits on the list, it looks like. <laughs> Justin, I don't know if this mean, topic holds water. a little date rapey, but <laughs> move it on. <laughs> okay, what Love about... Love number nine. <laughs> what about... I went to this comedian who was black. <laughs> he said <laughs> he's a Spanish fly, it's whack. Then he had a number one sitcom on TV. He's free. <laughs> that doesn't scare you? Again, too real. <laughs> too real. It's too okay. real. All right. All right. What, I mean, what about uh, Katy Perry's E.T. featuring Kanye West? So what is that about? What? That was just it's about, about being an alien. <laughs> oh, Although is... aliens, I will say, are borderline, <laughs> right. borderline Halloween. Qu- question. If, Theatrical. If Theatrical. The, all, right, all right. If this one makes a list, then that means by default, you have to go along with Neil Diamond's Turn On Your Heart Lights. Yes. Which the is E.T. About, song. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Uh, we've got... Um, Oh my goodness. I mean, there's just so many. A Vampire by Noah Cunane. Bad Blood from Taylor Swift. Um, bad, oh, yeah, bad, bad Blood. Bad, bad Blood is literally just song. about her hating Katy Perry. Right. It's not about, it, it's a metaphor Sorry, for, uh, for bad feelings. It's not about like ooh, evil blood. I got a question for you. You know, we I got saw, evil I, blood I that I got because I ran over a Romani. I, and I got put a curse <laughs> on me. <laughs> like that Stephen King book, Thinner. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I saw on the list, I want candy. 
Yes, by belongs or doesn't belong. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Like that's cheeky. Yeah, that's okay. Right? That's cheeky. Because that's what we're all. It doesn't have for. to be yeah, scary. Yeah. It's yeah. still no. Halloween related. Yeah, perfect. All right, what else you got? What else you got? Quick, 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 quick. Speed round. Oh, okay. Uh, um, let's... Gangnam Style. Yes. My <laughs> Family uh, by Migos from the Adams Family movie. Uh, Wait, what? Yes. Wait, what was that? Too My Family by Migos. My Family by Migos. And Carol G and Sid I didn't Doggin. even get to that fucking this deep in the in in, in the playlist. Uh, 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 yeah. Which doctor? I'm sorry, doctor. This shit is too loose. Ooh, ooh, uh, we need a we need a, a Biden fix this federal <laughs> Halloween playlist. Why you keep going back on Biden? I'm saying Question. I'm saying he needs to do something. Okay. Look, I'm gonna rank it in this order: Halloween song playlists are sure. The economy. Yes. <laughs> COVID. Obviously. And then uh uh uh. Uh, Maybe a border, yeah, <laughs> a border, some border, border. somewhere. One of them, yeah, one of them. yeah. Right. Right. mostly yep, yep, the yep. Canadian border. Uh, I think I think I'm on board in theory, but I man, I I feel like there should be a place everybody can hit us up with their examples of songs that show up in these lists. That shouldn't be. That there. shouldn't be. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, what about uh, uh, Great Night Live on Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. At Great Night well, Live. Our, yeah. 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 We're Great Night Live, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, God, I hope so. Because yeah. that's what I said. How'd you just say? Yeah. yeah, no, hit us hey, up. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, look, you want to float? You just do this. You go. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Are you float? Shrug. Take, you just shrug, from the, basically. From the beer. He's so, an extra uh, light beer. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Great Night Live. Go ahead and hit us up. Uh, and anybody here in the in, in the chat uh, while we while we continue on with the show, then go ahead and do that. Yeah. What about Silent Night? All that Holy Spirit in that spooky the spirits. There's spirits well, there. Isn't there a horror movie? There's a horror movie. Silent, That's Silent Night, Night right? Deadly Night. Yeah. That yeah. Takes place. Save it. Yeah, Is Silent that the Night. one in the in the sorority house? Uh, you know what? Uh, I, aren't they all? Yeah. It, well, most of them. Yeah. Uh, it's that one too, Biden. <laughs> That one goes over. That one goes above COVID. What a great, what a great rejoinder to just anything. Let's fucking fix like, it. Like, fix whatever. that, Biden. Come on, like, Biden. Fix that one too, Biden. <laughs> Toxic by Britney Spears. No, no. Toxic oh, doesn't. I don't know, You're toxic. I'm slipping under. What part about <laughs> ghosts and goblins and, and, and fucking witchcraft and blood sacrifices? Does that have to do with it? What anything? about King Henry VIII and all the heads he chopped off? That's spooky. Is there a song? Does, does Britney there have a song? song about that? King Henry VIII, I am, I am. I chopped off a bunch of heads again. I'm always eating eggs and ham. I'm Henry VIII. <laughs> You don't know that one? Pretty sure I'm I got it. that right. Joe, that, that, that's, that's a song, goes, right? right? Yeah. You got the words wrong, buddy. <laughs> you got the words wrong, buddy. <laughs> uh, I mean, don't you love getting scared by bad uh, habits by hell, Ed Sheeran? Highway to Hell was in the chat. Yeah, highway to Hell. Superstitious by Stevie Superstitious Wonder. is on this playlist. Sure. Is on the playlist. Mac the Knife. <laughs> I'll take back the knife because yes. I will literally take back about the knife. Runs around murdering yes. people. I will okay. take. What about like, smooth if, criminal? If, if I were in, if I were in the middle of a Halloween playlist, and yep. all of a sudden, like when the clock strikes, <laughs> I'd be like, "Yeah, <laughs> turn that shit off." <laughs> Forcing him to eat candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Werewolves of London? Your apples yes. for <laughs> razor blades. Because <laughs> Mac is <laughs> back in town. <laughs> All right. Well, we won. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, folks, if you would like to support this show, you can do so at patreon.com slash great night. Uh, we've been on a roll, man. I, I feel like we've had some really, really funny uh, 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 exclusive shows here uh, that you can get exclusively on the Patreon, right? Yep. I think we're far enough along that it's time to say, uh, call a friend. Uh, have them suffer along with you every Tuesday night live at, uh, 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 I guess. It, Twitch.greatnight.tv it, works. It does? Yes. yes. Great. Twitch.greatnight.tv. Twitch. <laughs> Like that. Like that. You got a that. game for us? Oh, hello. I do I do have a game. Uh we've got a special edition of Real or Fake today. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, what's funny is you said that and I looked over and I saw two doctors and one of them looked real. <laughs> The which other, is wait, the which real one? Dr. Greenweed. Uh, it is, one, it is like, one? all right, so people can, <laughs> can really appreciate the fact, by the way, that the studio is laid out, but it 
kind of looks like you know how in like the the surgical theaters they have like the medical students that are up running above. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just have like this like cadre of lab coats. <laughs> I'm just saying, doctors are standing by. They are, <laughs> Doctor Greenweed and his and his apprentice. <laughs> There you go. Uh, <laughs> if that. So we've got a special edition of Real or Fake today. Over the weekend, America came out. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I've been oh, saying this for years. It's all we, solved. We had our suspicions. Oh, it's yeah, finally I mean, come fixed. Come on, we do it. Thank We're just glad you. you admitted it to yourself. That's right. Uh, America is a confirmed Formula One lover. Oh. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, I mean... Yeah, they definitely right. ran the race against one right. o'clock football. Like, not not the smartest move. I, I mean, that was four hours of Formula One on national broadcast in lieu of Sunday afternoon football. I had, mm. And when did Billy Joe come on? That was on Saturday. Okay. Um, How many people watch Dune? I don't know. Ask, ask HBO. All right. Okay. Well, uh, Formula One happened. Formula it, happened. It is, uh, uh, we, are, we are bullshitting around, but Formula One is gigantically popular because of that Netflix show, right? Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and about half of the time on ABC was watching 20 cars go very fast. The other time was a lot of commentary and analysis. And the thing that I'm really interested in that you don't normally see at these, these events, celebrities. Ah. So, so normally you do not see a level of A-list celebrity that was at the F1 race this time. Oh, I suddenly realized yes. where this is headed. Okay, all right, got it. So so uh, uh, I, I am assuming the game is to find out who was and was not there for so you will the have to tell me yeah. event but, 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 and driving yeah. around in circles. So, so the way this works, and, and especially for <laughs> these like high-performance vehicles, is that not everything is always going to go according to plan, but right, you yeah. have the television block that is going to, to have to be there. So they are trained to stretch sure like fill yeah. sure and, and so normally what you're saying is that they do not because it's not in america they do not have just celebrities on hand fucking around this time very much the case Ex exactly they they put in a, like an hour of coverage that they normally would not air um at all so i'm going to give you the uh, name uh, of uh, by the way uh, renegu in the chat room says not a listers americans have heard of to which i say yes <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna give you the name of a celebrity and you're gonna have to tell me if they were featured on uh f1's sunday broadcast on abc to millions of people oh, abc that's right mm, the american broadcasting yeah. corporation mm. changes right. things uh much like all things formula one this will be one of our most expensive games we've ever and, played and who was who was the okay. little british man who was running around uh, uh, uh i'll get uh, to him yeah. oh, okay sorry all right never mind um, this, oh no! Sorry, it was I, called. Uh, no, the, uh, it just it, it was. I had to, I paid I paid for a month of sling to get these clips. So we're gonna also watch the clips of these things. So I'm sorry, my whole rhythm's fucked up now. Uh, anyway, this, this hit me up for my login next time. It, oh, okay, uh, Brett. Before we get into that, what's our punishment for today? Well, our punishment today, oh, since shit. it's Halloween themed. Uh, I forgot that we do punish. I decided to go down to the store and uh, buy some pixie sticks for us to snort. Uh, but since there weren't any pixie sticks at the store, the closest thing I could come up with was Altoids. So, like the good doctor that I am, I went ahead and crushed those Altoids. And <laughs> one of us, who is the loser, will be doing a line of Altoid blow. So, there we go. Uh, real thing that happened. Spooky. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> I walked out of the green room experience and we have enough people here that i can't vouch personally for everyone's proclivities but i looked over and i just saw a very big fat rail of, of chopped powder <laughs> and and i thought well i suppose we've graduated <laughs> <laughs> we must I have a Dr. pretty Weed. good show <laughs> Uh, so uh, you're each going to get your own, you're, you're only one person is going to answer each round. Uh, this is pretty simple. We'll do a simple example round. Uh, Justin. Yeah. If I told you, if I gave you the name Shaquille O'Neal, would you tell me if he was or was not at the crown jewel of motorsport this weekend? Uh, I believe that Shaquille O'Neal was at the F1 race. And your answer would be... Bam. 
uh, because I, I saw on Twitter a a a photoshopped enhanced photo <laughs> of a very tall Shaquille O'Neal and a very small. <laughs> That's like, right. He uh, you can see it at the end of our cliff here. Uh, he w gave away the trophy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he is standing taller than two of the three men standing on podiums. <laughs> So there was a Photoshop where they were they were even smaller. Unlike like were... Jomo, he is second place. That is pretty much what I'm saying. Uh, by the way, so easy I game. want to thank everybody who co uh, cooperated with my proposal to uh, uh, play a special secret game of swap out the hosts. If anybody wants to become co-host. <laughs> Just... It's a little too late for that, bro. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like, yeah. Okay. No. It's not about the racing. It's about the celebs. You're it's about the celebs. Be good. Yeah. And if there's one thing that Brian knows more than F1 racing, it's celebrity <laughs> pop culture. I, I made a point. I made a point to put. Uh, look, you, we'll be good. Right, we'll be good. We'll be better than our last time. Don't worry. It'll be fine. It'll be All fine. Right. All right. We're gonna start with I've Brian. I've never been more excited. <laughs> I know. This is I don't blame you. Yeah, I could. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> He's all the way in the red. Meter just went to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can move Indy it. He went to an Audi on the blower. Oh, oh no. <laughs> nice. All right, Brian, we're going to start with you in this one. Bobcat says, maybe Far Cry 6 is one of the celebs. <laughs> 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 I'm ready. Brian, we're starting with you. Serena Williams. Tennis star Serena mm. Williams. You know Serena, right? Yeah. I, uh, you know, uh, she looks like uh, she has a, a distinct, beautiful, beautiful, yes, always has a racket in her hands. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. talented. Her sister. Serena. No, her sister. Serena's sister. Serena's sister. Venus. Venus. Okay. Yeah. There we go. He's yeah. got it. Oh, baby, she's she's got got it. It. Not a Halloween song. Not a Halloween song. Probably it could, could be. be. It really could be. I mean, it's maybe, maybe a, what she's got is a, a nice. Valentine's Day song. Oh, oh. that's. <sighs> she was not there. Brian is going to say she was not there. That answer is. Loser. 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 Incorrect. Uh, this is actually one of the the uh, better moments. So yeah, so there's a British. There used to be a guy who would go onto the racetrack and interview anybody he could find. And because of COVID, he had to stop doing that. But they brought him back to do this, and it made for legitimately one of the most awkward interviews of the day. I'm going to play the clip for you because it's so because good. Because we can. Uh, wasn't that keen to oh, uh, uh, Venus? frozen. Talked to me uh, five years ago. I don't know if I'll get a a double fault or a, or an ace, but uh, I don't want to interrupt the Rory. <laughs> Serena, may I, may I have a chat? Serena, are you good for a chat? Martin Brundle, British TV. It's 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 a double <laughs> Ah, ah, okay. What does that posture say? She says British TV, and she goes, I, uh, "Like I, it's uh, almost uh, as though uh, she uh, said, oh, you had to say the B word.'" Can I? Can uh, I? Can I just tell you? This is actually bringing back PTSD because when you're a reporter, this is literally your entire life. Your yes, entire yeah. life is sitting right in front of another person who's having another conversation. <laughs> and you're very waiting sober. for your moment, and then you're like. I, 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 uh, if I could, uh, uh, if I could, uh, uh, although he's great at it theatrically, he's like, I'm very British, British TV. He, oh. he quit the next day. <laughs> he did. Except he didn't, because there's a billion more clips. All right, that's so right. you suck. So that's a no. That's an in, that's a no point suck. for Brian on that one. Yeah. yeah, Justin, we got one for you here. Let's go, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Ah, actress Drew Barry Drew Barrymore. She gonna be down there in the pits, <laughs> looking at these F1 cars. Vroom vroom. Mm. It's how you talk when you don't actually. Ah, go. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I just back of my hand. <laughs> Barry Moore. <laughs> E.T. <laughs> Married Tom Green. You give me about five. Divorced. <laughs> she she wasn't up. there. <laughs> Your answer of she wasn't there is. It shines too bright. You win. Correct. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's, oh he's going up to orange. Oh no. Oh boy. Here he's we go. Orange. Oh, All right. Boy. Brian. 
<laughs> Daredevil extraordinaire Felix Baumgartner. Oh, yeah. That's to do the jump from uh, as space as Virgin Galactic has ever gone to. Ooh. From a fucking oh. Ooh. Thank you, Red Bull. Mwah. Mm. Yes, that dude was there. That answer is. He's, he wanted to see what it looked like when vehicles went slower than his body, tumbling down from fucking space. <laughs> That's the sound his body makes. <laughs> As he plunges out of to the earth. <laughs> Did you know someone, uh, someone like beat his record like a year later, <laughs> and he's just some dude? Oh, like, really? Yeah. Number one. Did uh, live stream it. Doesn't count. That's yeah. right. That's right. All right, Justin, we're back to you. Yeah. The callous Dow boy. The, the callous what was that? The what was that? Oh my God. Was, what was oh, that? Oh my fucking what? God. That dude takes shout no out, bullshit. Shout out to Carson. Shout out to Carson shout and his math rock the, band. Shout out to the actual <laughs> fucking awesome band, the callous Dow boys. I have a callous Dow boys hat. They're, they're actually coming out to Austin. Hopefully we can have them uh, uh, play oh, here. God. Uh, yeah. But uh, right. uh, the, yeah, the callous Dow boys. The callous Dow boys. So, no, Carson was not there. He was, no, I don't the, think Carson was there. The Dow Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders is what I meant to say. The Dallas the Cowboy Dallas Cheerleaders. Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders at the F1 race. For the <laughs> Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. The, we're I believe that the say. Dallas Cowboys had a bye week. So I believe we they were there. Cars that go in circles in a major way. <laughs> they, they, 80s rap? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it, it turned out wearing skimpy clothes and doing dances didn't pass muster with me too. So they moved on to eighties rap. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to psychologically influence you here. Yes, uh, I, I believe they were there. Your answer is correct. Mm. God damn it! All the way up to fucking dis destroyed and yeah. disturbed. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. he's all he's uh, he's off the charts. Yep. That's his, can yeah. I can I tell you that one of my favorite memories of being in London? was we, we watched a, uh, a Monday night football game. And so because the station that it was on didn't have commercials, it was a commercial free station that mm. aired the game. They just had a British announced team that they would go to during the commercial breaks of Monday night football. Right. Uh, and they were like very awkward and very weird. And during the halftime, they had their own halftime show and they were like, Oh, so these games happened and then these games happened and they were very good games. And, they all tried hard, but we all know what you're here for. <laughs> it was and the like, Super Bowl shuffle. And I'm like, what? And then they're like, the cheerleaders. And then they just played a super cut of all the shots of cheerleaders from the football games that had happened on the Sunday before. Oh, no. It was hilarious. When, uh, when I said the Super Bowl shuffle, I did not expect that to be the more PC answer. <laughs> 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 Shout out to British people. We are not here <laughs> looking for trouble. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to our double points round. Brett, uh, do you have the score or would you like me to? Yeah, it looks like score? it looks like uh, Brian... If you can remember it, Dr. Weed. Well, Green Weed. You Green know, Weed. He didn't just... go to doctor to be Mr. <laughs> Green Weed. <laughs> Dude, Sorry. I'm just saying. All right, Brian, yeah. you're probably going to do a line of uh altoids because uh, i don't think you're qualified to write that prescription hey <laughs> look i've been to colombia so <laughs> i'm just saying I, was that colombia or colombia colombia <laughs> colombia university you mean no i've been to colombia <laughs> okay, all right all right south and, carolina and and the blow that i did there looks a lot like this line <laughs> of altoids for you so brian you're in the dumpster bro and uh justin <laughs> You got two whole points, so good for you, man. Brian, you in the dumpster, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and Justin, you have two whole points. <laughs> you can't cancel anyone over that. I, I, can't, I can't believe that we've minted you in the dumpster, bro. <laughs> That's an amazing <laughs> phrase. I just made that up. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't help that we're in costume. I would have never guessed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bryce, save me by killing me. All right, we're double points. We're moving into double points now. Uh, Brian, we're going to you here. Yep. Megan the Stallion 
rapper, singer, songwriter, Megan the Stallion. Was she at F1 or not? And her sister. <laughs> uh oh, he's pulling something out of the out of his beer glass. Uh oh. He's pulling a coin out. <laughs> he's flipping a coin. <laughs> she was definitely there. I saw it. Your answer is. Yeah! Yeah! God damn it. One of the other huge awkward moments from this race oh, was no. trying More to... awkward than this? <laughs> uh, yes. Just watch. Here just we watch. go. Here's Mr. Brundle trying to speak to Miss Megan. Oh, no. Uh, Megan, Martin Brundle from British Television. How are you? Megan the Stallion. You're a, you're a freestyle rapper. Um, I think she's happy. Okay, boss. So, so oh. just before we move on, what happened is Martin Brendel said, can you interview me? Her, She said yes, and her bodyguard said, get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, so no. the bodyguard pushes oh. him away. Megan Thee Stallion, if you are only listening to this, dressed exactly how you would imagine Megan Thee Stallion is dressed at an yep. F1 race. Yep. Uh, 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 walking very confident, being a lot more uh, accommodating than Serena. Mm -hmm. Initially. Initially. Uh, uh, but, but Martin... Marty, Marty, baby. Oh, Marty. Star rapper, have you got any rap for us today on Formula One? Oh. <laughs> I have no rap today. I'm sorry. Well, who are you support? Who are you supporting in the race? He's like, okay. Uh, I can do that because I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a pretty good comeback. Yeah. Uh, so that's two points for Brian. Hey! Yay! Yay! Congrats, Justin. We're yes. going to you now. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> he's, he's back at the yellow. Justin, yeah. your celeb is Elon Musk. Oh. Oh. Elon oh. Musk. I love this now one. Now a Texas resident. Native? No. Yeah? A resident, not a native. You spend enough money. <laughs> <laughs> you get to be a native. Um, <laughs> Gigafactory. Less that being than said, 100 yards from this race. That being said, you know, he's in he's in the electric game. Chair. Not not the gas <laughs> game. <laughs> not the gas he's chair. in Florida. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say he was not there. That would be really weird because no, no, he no, literally no, 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 lives no. less no, than no, a mile no. from this racetrack. You're saying he left the state... He left his home. We're we are we're close to the racetrack, and one of our favorite artists was playing there, and we didn't go. Okay, but 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 he literally lives next to the racetrack, like within two miles of it. I, I don't know that's where, where he the lives. Giga factory is. That's where he, he lives, lives in, his, in the in Giga factory yes. box. Yes, yes, he does. Yeah, he probably does. Sure, he does. So he, yeah, does. he brags about the fact that he lives in quote a a a a fifty thousand dollar hundred square foot place, which is definitely a, a boxable. He lives in one of those those portable. You know what? Uh, I bet you're right. He would, probably wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, your <laughs> nope. Your answer of no is. Ah. Is absolutely right. He was not there. Oh, he's up in the orange now. What is that level? Oh, uh, uh, smashed. we're smashed. He's smashed. Smashed. We're smashed right now. Smashed. All right, Brian, this one goes over to you here. Ready. Jeff Gordon. NASCAR driver extraordinaire Jeff Gordon. And his sister... <laughs> Venus. Venus Gordon. <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure. Why not? Uh, all, all them, the, uh, all them racists. Uh, <laughs> they love watching each other race. That, that, that answer. <laughs> you don't want to think it out at all. No. Why would, why would a NASCAR guy be at an F1 race? I. Is this a trap? <laughs> <laughs> You can you can say whatever you want, man. It's I'm, I'm you. You're living in a world. He, he was there. Huh. Your answer that he was there. Not that wait. So before did you say he wasn't there? No, I say he was there. Okay, because I yeah. thought I thought you said he wasn't there. No, I've always said he's was. So, yeah, he's, he was. Yeah. He's there. he was. He was not. Was was. What there. he's saying is he was, was not. Was there. Lock it in. Was 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 not. Was there. Was there. Was not. 
I'm sorry, I'm getting some interference on the microphones here. Sorry, this is so embarrassing. It was there, he saw the whole thing. He was shaking champagne and saying, I'm a winner. Oh! In my dream. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, Jeff Gordon at the race there. All right, Justin. Trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> scary. Way. Like, look, I, 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 with the breathalyzer says, I'm here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're mid Lone Star. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Ben yeah. Stiller. Mm. Actor, comedian, Brother Ben Stiller. Of... <laughs> Venus Stiller. Venus Stiller. <laughs> uh,. Ben Stiller. Of the house. Stiller. <laughs> Son of Jerry. That's right. That is right. Graduate of Syracuse University. Mm. That's right, too. Uh, husband of uh, uh, Melody Elizabeth from Hurley. Hey Dude. Uh, ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. <laughs> was there. Your answer of was there is. Yes, yes Oh, yeah, man. baby. That's right. Uh, he was there, apparently. Did uh, he talk to the British man? He did talk to the British man. I've seen you out on track. I've seen you in the paddock. You've seen the best of Formula One. This it was week. not very an awkward yeah. one. Yeah. They just do it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Our first time ever. So ben there we go. Ben Look Stiller made it up. He's ben so Stiller, great. baby. Ben Stiller. Uh, ben you know Stiller I, I, show. Classic. Yes. Also, not convinced that was actually Ben Stiller. Oh. Can oh we, you're, call, uh, you're calling uh, shenanigans? Just roll that back again. Tell Is me, it just, really it, Ben Stiller? Does that look like Ben Stiller? Was it really Ben Stiller? Did that man direct Cable Guy? He is very, he has grayed quite a, a bit. Uh, he, no, Mr. that's Stiller. the guy who hosts the new show, uh, The Problem. Uh, oh yes, the, well, <laughs> it's okay. not John it does Stewart. Does kind of look like John. Oh yes, yeah. it's not John Stewart. Mm. Turns out wow. we turns out we're aging. Problematic. Oh, oh time is not a though. flat circle. Yeah. Uh, all right, so that's uh, that's uh, two more points for Justin. Mm. Brett, what are, is our standings? Well, <laughs> got to. Justin, you have six points. Wow, six hey, of them. Hey, good for Hell you. Yeah, dude. Brian, oh. where is he? Where is he? Where is hey, he? Hey, hey, just just a question. Can we get Echo on his mic when he hits just, the line? Just a question, Brian. Yes. Um, in that uh, mass of cash that you have, that bag of cash. Yes. Do you have a hundred dollar bill in there? I I I mean I might if Okay, if- because I just want you to get that ready because you only have two points and you're gonna do a line of Altoids. God damn it. Wait, but yeah. where is he? <laughs> Where he's got two points. No, no, but like spiritually, where is he? He's in the fucking dumpster. That's yeah. where he is. Yeah. Like, you you in the, the dumpster, dumpster bro. You in the d- dumpster, dumpster. You're sober. Dog. You're sober. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> all right, it's time for our. You in the dumpster. <laughs> it's time it for. We're all we're all light beer belongs. It, it is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. It's time for our four-point round here. Brian. You have never seen a man dressed as a light beer more angry than this. <laughs> it's really kind of a low-key anger, though. Yeah. yeah. A less filling anger. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty great. Of it. Yeah, it's pretty great, but it's really... The kind of anger you can deal with all day. Oh, yeah. Jesus oh my God. <laughs> so we've got a Photoshop of me teaching some critical race theory on Formula One, Formula NASCAR, one. IndyCar, Monaco, Grand Blow that shit Daytona up. 500. <laughs> Would you uh, like? Do you need a new one of me wearing the hat? Though. Yeah, put the hat on. Yeah, yeah there we go. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Take them all. There we go. All there right. There it is. <laughs> I want to say uh, thank you to who did that? Uh, Cheech. Cheech SP. Thank you for posting that. So good. All right. This is our four point round now. Good. Still anybody's game. Good. Yep. Brian, we're starting with you. Yeah. Your celebrity is Dave Bautista. Drax. Drax. Actor, right? wrestler. I don't want to get <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What was he that? Was Did in, you do uh, that he again? Was in Dune. He was in Dune, yeah. <laughs> he was in Dune, yeah. He was like, 
Why are there Dune people here? Hey! I'm so mad about Dune people. Hold on, I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. I'm mad. Come I'm, on! I'm mad about Dune. I took the whole day off. I I'm wanted all about... these desserts for me. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm... he was there. Please be there. Please, uh, yes, he was there. He was there. I believe. You think so? Yeah, I do. You think he's in F1? I do. I think he loves just going round and round in circles. I think he loves it. I think it was secretly there for Billy Joel, but he'll never confess it. He'll always say, <laughs> I, I just love fast cars. Yeah. I'm Dave Bautista. Mm -hmm. I only tell the truth. I catch knives. <laughs> <laughs> and I appear in science fiction movies. Dave Bautista only tells the truth. <laughs> yeah. That, be the he's obviously. famous for that shit. He's famous. He said, come at me. I'll never yeah. lie. Yeah. I chopped down your motherfucking mom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> famous Dave Bautista quote. Famous Dave Bautista yeah. quote. Yeah, he said that a Not lot. He said that I definitely am here only for the cars. Not secretly for Billy Joel. <laughs> All right. So did he, he did tell like a lie. <laughs> okay, fine. I actually came, I came into town to go see Sticks over at the Nutty Brown Cafe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then snuck back over to the F1 race for Sunday. Big get for Nutty Brown. Yeah, you Good. Did. You did. Good okay. for him. Your answer that he was there is. Lose, 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 lose. Oh, no. You know what? Incorrect. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Sometimes you believe in someone so hard. Yeah. And then you find out they're a liar. They just let you down. When Dave Bautista <laughs> wrote me a personal email saying he was definitely going to the F1 yeah. race, uh -huh. and it was definitely to see the cars and not to see Billy Joel, yeah. I could handle the idea that it was secretly to see Billy Joel yeah. and not the cars. Never even occurred to me that the whole thing was a lie. A fucking little fib. God what an damn asshole, it, Dave. Dave. You broke his heart. I'm going to beat you up, Dave Bautista. Yeah. For doing We're this to my friend Brian. Are there any doctors that have any mood altering substances? Wait, is that, that it? Maybe. Is there one more question. Uh, we Fuck do have it. one more. Like, unless one you want more just, question. We do have a final. Question. We, have a, we, we have a few more, actually, but this oh, was not our final round. <laughs> All right. Sorry. It was just, I was putting more points on so that the game would be more fun for everybody to enjoy. So. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, that was wrong. Justin, yeah. Missy Elliott. Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. Oh, Superfly. Super Duper Fly. I can't stand the rain. I believe she. Wait, a <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. Wait, yeah, that's the lyrics, right? And you keep, were doing great. Keep going. What did Dave uh, Bautista beep, beep. tell you? Who got the keys to my Jeep? Broom. Okay, he's in, he's off the charts uh, now. <laughs> uh, I believe she was there. I believe Missy was there. Your answer that she was there is oh. incorrect. Now we go on to our final round. Before we do that, the standings. I've lost literally everybody. Oh, well, okay. No, you got one. No, you got one. Two I was already. Two I was one. already. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can do the score here. No, I, I got it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. The score. Hey, uh, for the final round. Uh, yeah, we got Justin at six still. Uh huh. We have Brian at a sad, sad two. Yeah. Okay, so all right, here we go. Uh, where's Brian at? Everybody in the room. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. You, you in the, the dumpster. Dumpster. <laughs> we kind of didn't have the whole slogan. We just knew dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thankfully, yeah. You in the dumpster, dude. Yeah. You in the dumpster, dude. All right, can we do it one more Call time? You in the Dave dumpster, Bautista. dude. Dave <laughs> Bautista. Oh. Is, is it oh, calling? It, say, it says, I don't see Dave Bautista in your contract. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups to Siri. Big ups to Siri. Shout out, Siri. He's like, call me out. Fucking. She uh, speaks the not truth. Not the first time I saw that one. The yeah. A scoreboard. Big Dave's number. As I told you. <laughs> Per my last email. Okay, we're going to go into our final round. Go, grab your phones, gentlemen. This is going to be a secret entry round. You're both going to text me your answer of if you believe George Lucas was at the Formula oh, One race at the player. U.S. Grand Prix I would have felt it in over the, the weekend. Was George Lucas director of the Star Wars film? Uh, at oh, sorry, what did, what, what did you Worms? just say? Is it the star, he's the Star Worm guy. Yeah. <laughs> what they called it. 
All right, I've got one answer from Justin. <sighs> Loading up the other answer here. Who go? Yes, he was, just so he could yell, now that's pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Is this going to be a five pointer? Is that what this, this is? is? Oh, that's a very good question, Brett. This is actually a ten point round. What oh ten points? God. Unbelievable! It's still anybody's game. Well, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I mean, is it? Your emergency hall and out helpline. <laughs> to hear one on one, please press one. To hear rich girl, please press two. This is, this is the sound, this is thinking music in Brian's head. What the fuck? It's not gonna let me even hear Hall and Oates as I go to my death because I don't know if it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He's no, like, the text. It's fine. You already sent your answers, and Brian said no, and Justin <laughs> said yes. But you took out your phone to play the Hall and Oates uh, emergency line, so I could at Whoa, least hear some no pleasant what? music before I fucking snort Altoids. Yes, that is exactly what happened. Hey man, it's only three of them. That is a lot, but we need to, we That's need some checks and balances on the punishments a little bit. Hey, do we have a black Amex card that I can use to cut them a little bit? Can we? <laughs> Motherfucker. No. You ever know me? Uh, you uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us that. Yes, I am that. number one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. I am Dr. Weed, after all. Green weed. <laughs> Dr. Green, weed. Green, name right. green is my coach. first name. Do we need to write it down? Weed is oh, you're my... Dr. Green weed of the Connecticut Green Weed. Yes. <laughs> I've already written a prequel comic. Wow, I wish you would give me this work up before we do this. For 10 points here, we have different answers. Brian has said no. Justin has said yes. That fucking was really annoying, by the way. Because now there's a chance I'm going to snort out toys. <laughs> <laughs> I really was oh, hoping God, that you would just I'm answer the same fucking thing. I mean, I love Brian. Because I've eaten a lot of shit in these punishments lately. A few days. I chugged fucking four goddamn shots of syrup. Yes, you did. And it fucked my goddamn stomach. Were you ridden like a pony? Did he ride you like a pony? He ridden me like a fucking pony. Yeah, he did that. You guys say I'm not mean enough. That's... Interesting. No, I'm just gonna be really, I'm gonna be really because you pissed. keep forgetting. Yeah, just, yeah, that you're Dr. Green. Sorry, who's I'm, the winner? You're Dr. Green. Right. Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm Dr. Green. I've got to take the answer and drop it into my answer hole here, Brian. This is your answer, Brian. Okay. And your answer is. Oh no! Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Incorrect. Show me George. Do this. Show me George. Show. Oh yes. I mean, you, look at fucking George. Oh, George. George. Listen, listen it done. Like, oh, yeah, God yeah, damn. Look at that like, billion look, dollars. Look, let me belly. just tell you, I would re man. rewritten this car race to Watch where it would be totally different. This is like a boss wearing shorts. You got to hear the commentary about it's it. The though. weirdest pod racing ever. You got to hear the commentary right, about go, it. Go go yeah. go go go. Not pod racing. Uh, yeah. This isn't Team pod racing. George I would have said it many a Formula One track in the past. Now, if he, if he was any good at, at, at making movies, he could make a really good movie out of this 2021 season, couldn't he? It would have uh, been a podcast. If, if he, he was, was only good. good at making movies, <laughs> fucking those Euros take no prisoners. I swear wow. to God. I yeah. fucking, uh, 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 Dr. Feelgood. Sure. Uh, well, uh, let me just uh, recount what the. Score. I think, we got, I, think we, I don't know. Okay, yeah. I, don't know I we think need we that. should say what the score is. Okay, Brett, what is our score going out of the game? Ugh. Justin, you got 16 points. <laughs> Brian, you in the dumpster, dude. God damn it. Yeah. All right, all right. He's in the dumpster. All right. While they get set up to do this punishment, I want to say uh, if you've got an idea for a game, if you've got an idea for a punishment, if you've got a high thought, an email, a question, comments, anything, you can send it in to our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. One more time, greatnightpod at gmail.com. We got it in the show notes here. But uh, that's where you can send in uh, all of these things that uh, 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 can help contribute to the show. Uh, games like this are, uh, uh, are often furnished by uh, many of you so please one more time great pod at gmail.com and now to your punishment already in progress what a weird fucking career <laughs> you're telling me career. Yeah, anybody got a credit card I, get, I, I don't think you're gonna have to do the whole 
Line. I should hope not. I would not eat three Altoids uncrushed. All right, we have, go ahead, bro. All right, so they are, uh, let's see, Annalisa, if you can push in a little bit on, on what we're seeing here. There we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so they are now cutting up the line of, good God, Brett, that's a lot. <laughs> he's from like Florida. He's this before. Yeah. This I'm is, from okay. Florida. <laughs> so they've cut a line. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Do, do we have a dollar or a okay. straw, and, I guess? And we do or have a $100 we, bill. Have a do we have a $100 bill? We can, we've, we've got a site here on it. We just, yep, I think we're ready for you. I, I, I think we can all see. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can do it Frontier style. Okay, right. You know, just go. hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And we got the, uh, the Father, Son, okay. Holy Spirit. All right. First. all right. Here he goes. Here it is. Oh, he oh my God! Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> oh my God! He's so he's he went. He went demons. for the mountain instead of the line. <laughs> he, he, oh. And now is the and spice he got, blowing? He got about uh, uh, no. Stop it! You're no. done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Doctor Greenweed, please. Yeah. Your, your services are no longer needed. Brian is now. Oh, well, oh, well, God. Oh, well, God. Uh, oh. Super. Brian, how are you feeling? I'm just, okay. No oh, more nose yeah. stuff. No yeah. more nose He's stuff. He's got a Come gigantic on. white spot on the front of his nose. His beard is coated in Altoids. You went for the big mountain. You went for the Tony Montagna mountain. <laughs> And, and and you got to a foothill and then you choked out, <laughs> rightfully oh. so. And then you said, say hello to my little friend and just went for it. I'm so <laughs> impressed. God, I just feel like I could take on the fucking world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get him. Yeah. Your blood is going to be so fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fresh fucking blood. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back to the program. <gasps> what? Mm -hmm. Jomo. Yay! Yay! <sighs> Will he make it all the way up without his hat falling off? Yeah! Oh. Yo, what up, Jomo? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, Brian is so hard right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Jomo, you are you are a man of, of science and space lifting the uh, 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 microphone sort of up through your space helmet. I'm sort of a space scientist. There you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I do my own thing, and I'm kind of a cowboy. Too. You are also, yeah, you also and, uh, r remain with your, with your, yeah. with your country roots. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> What a weird cadre. This is this is a fucking Final Fantasy squadron if there ever was one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brian's Brian, nose is Brian. running like he had a fucking flu. How does, Brian, this, how Brian, does his breath Brian, smell out of his nose, Brian, though? Oh, like, my God. Um, how does he smell? Yeah. Minty fresh. <laughs> What about me? Hello. Hi. Was, like, like Bryce keeps changing to more uh, cameras, and it gets more impressive. <laughs> like, I was like, we're doing it. Yeah. Man. Do you love me now, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a Final Fantasy story. <laughs> I'm starting to feel I went too far. I don't know. Uh, Shut uh, up, Greenweed. <laughs> uh Unrelatedly, uh, I you're think crying. I, you <laughs> literally have tears rolling out of your eyes. You know, I, I had an appointment at exactly uh, eight twenty-one. Oh, you gotta uh, go. You gotta go. He's gotta uh, go. You gotta go. I mean, I'd stay. Go, 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 I'd go. Like to stay. Uh, no, go, everybody. Brian, <laughs> Brian Brushwood, Brian, Brian, everybody. Brian Brushwood. <laughs> no, more, no more nose stuff. <laughs> no more nose like, stuff. Oh shit! Yeah, you already have your shit here. Okay. Uh. Actually, can he? Can we have him up in the center here? That'd be perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can center your shit here. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, Jomo. Thank you so much for for joining us. Oh yeah. yeah you take that. Oh oh ah uh, oh my goodness. Oh, my <laughs> he's creeping up on the duck. You better watch out. He's charging up behind Bryce. <laughs> this is creeping up on I, the duck. I feed into the spirit bomb. Watch out, Howard. <laughs> 
Watch out. <laughs> Disturbia. It's a song that has nothing to do with Halloween. Disturbia. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Somebody get the freaking uh, duck away from me. Okay. Uh, yes, Joma. Hello, Joma. Hi. How's... Yeah. How's, uh, 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 good to have you back. Uh, as uh, If you have not listened to our, our Great Room uh, uh, pre-show, then uh, you, you had a decorated time away. You were, you won first place at Merrill Fest, which is awesome. Yeah. I was... Uh, yeah. I, it was great. It worked out great. They, they said I got third, and then they told me later... Just kidding, you got first. We read that wrong. Damn. That's pretty cool. That's the best way for them to fuck up. It was, yeah. Much better than the other way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so with all your time away, uh, uh, what would you like to play for us tonight? Well, uh, since it's Halloween, first of all, Corey told me it was a bad idea to wear this helmet. Yeah. And that, that made me think, well, now I got to see what he's talking about. Yeah. You know? uh, it's a bad idea, it isn't now? it? Oh, yeah. He's right. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, like, like, the funniest thing about it is that it's bad for them and for you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a shit idea all and, the way. And, and I could uh, stop now. It's not too late. Time, but, I'm, but, but I'm still here. Fuck it. Uh, I mean, really sing. When you sing, really sing out so you can just deafen yourself. Yeah. That'll yeah. be great. Yeah. That'll be I great. I found if you stick your face out this side, it's fine. But, sure. it, you know, but it's, it's hard. To, this thing doesn't really sit. No, uh, no, so no, no. You get a lot of different effects. I was thinking, um, are you a bluegrass uh, aficionado? Yeah. Aficionado. Aficionado. Uh, yeah. An uh, audio uh, aficionado. As, as, they, as they say in the Italian original, yeah. An audio, audio aficionado. Yeah. Uh, well, this is uh, sort of like a bluegrass murder. You know, they're always about murder. So I thought they for Halloween, murders, I write yeah. a song that was like a bluegrass murdery, murdery band. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. The spooky stylings of Jomo. When pretty June, she was my baby. When pretty June, she done me wrong. Well, I shot down pretty June. In the kitchen, good Lord, came straight here and recorded this song. Well, the first thing I did was call my lawyer. And what he said sounded bizarre. He said, meet me downtown in about a half an hour. Don't forget your guitar. But pretty June, she was my baby. But pretty June, she done me wrong. Well, I shot down pretty June in the kitchen. Good Lord came straight here and recorded this song. He said, if you commit murder, but you put it down real quick in a bluegrass song, they can't use it in court against you. I said, hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. <laughs> he said, the first thing they probably do is make a podcast about you. And your fans, they'll come out in a flock. And just like that, he was right. They signed a petition to free me that night. And Netflix, they optioned a doc. Well, Pretty Jean, she was my baby. And Pretty Jean, she done me wrong. Yeah, I shot down pretty June in the kitchen. Good Lord, came straight here and recorded this song. Well, a pro tip, hold something back for season two. Don't show all the evidence that's on you. You're going to want something to tease. Just take it from me. Cause true crime is my new favorite genre. Yeah, 
Jean, she was my baby. And pretty Jean, she done me wrong. Well, I, I shot down pretty Jean in the kitchen. A good Lord came straight here and recorded this song. Yeah, I shot down pretty Jean in the kitchen, good Lord. Straight here and recorded this song. Oh my God! Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, oh no, yeah. he's back! All right. he's back. Fucking no. Jumbo! <laughs> this motherfucker, dude from space, space cowboy, this motherfucker. Oh! Yeah. Brian? Brian? Yeah! It's not actually cocaine. You know that. Also, it, that's not how people on cocaine act. Okay, I'm studied, just... Have we studied the effects of Altoids in people's noses? I think we are. I think we're doing some science right now. <laughs> I'm learning something new. Uh, that's a fucking amazing song. Yes. Oh, thanks, man. I, I, is that new? Is that a new one? Yeah, I wrote it uh, this week for, for, uh, for Halloween. For Halloween, oh, yeah. great. holy shit! That 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 that's got to go into in, in, into the repertoire. Mm -hmm. That is that is fucking hilarious. I, I was gonna do. I I got this idea because you know the bluegrass songs are always about people who murder. Yeah, people. murder ballads. And I got yeah, this look them up. They're like old songs that have been sung for fucking ever, but country yeah. and bluegrass specifically yeah. that made them famous in America. Yeah, and I was I I, I kind of had that part, and I took. I was trying to decide. My my other thought was that it was like this machine in the prison system and they were like they had a record they had a like a record label oh yeah and they were like getting they, these they, guys they, they to tell their imprint, story yeah. and record them and then it, yeah that seemed darker and, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah that is that is a greater villain yeah. than like yeah. uh, a guy who wants to get famous by yeah. optioning yeah, an netflix like stock the, the defense, <laughs> yeah. although that seems more realistic yeah uh, yeah right I mean, that's a, why I, that's why I would, uh, that's what makes one. it funnier yeah uh by the way I, I thought of you uh, when I saw this story over the week because you have this uh, song about uh, Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippos. Uh -huh. Did you see that there was a legal development with them this week? No. They are legally people. What? what? Really? Bryce, look it up. Uh, uh, but Just yeah. like corporations? They, they now, uh, all I know is that Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippos, and immediately all I did was think of your song about blame it on the cocaine hippo, are legally people, says U.S. judge. This according to wow. CBS News. Well, uh, I don't understand anything about how that can make sense. <laughs> <laughs> are regulars hip hippos people, too, or just the I cocaine you, hippos? I, I think, think there's an argument for that, that much now. cocaine. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they've been through enough. It also seems that that ruling doesn't mean anything since they're in Colombia. Right. That's true also. Right. So are these just like freelance judges just fucking around? Like, <laughs> I don't, have like, I don't know, on. man. Fucking Pablo Escobar symbols are people. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I don't know. <laughs> there really isn't. Well, well like, you know, they have been the packed justice lately, system. So. They're on one. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's that's good information. Uh, I mean, now you're going to add another stanza and now they're legally people. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I guess. Should I should I play the hip, that song? I no, could, no, I no, 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 no. Have you had another one that you were, you were thinking about? I, I don't about? care. I care none. But, <laughs> well, give, give me the option. What what other song were you going to uh, play? Well, I was going to have uh, I was going to have somebody do some sound effects while I told a scary story. Musical scary story. Uh, if I can do the sound effects, then we're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do that. Yeah. I'm gonna just. Uh, Bryce, am I totally ruining the sound with this helmet that goes in? <laughs> no. And by out the way, by the way, it's that's the great. Other, the other best part about that other song is that when the helmet fell further on your face, you sounded like an old bluegrass song. Yes. <laughs> it gets because real you were tinny. in that, like, yeah, in that tinny, oh, it awkward terrible in echo. Here. Yeah. I yeah. have a question. How do you keep the hat on top of the thing? It's Did just good balance, it man. You know, it's good balance. Posture. Posture. Yeah. Put a couple of books out there and then a hat. Is it clean living? Sort of That's like, what it yeah, was. Clean it's clean, living. Clean living. And, and it's attitude. <laughs> it's also a lot of attitude. Yeah. Uh, you sound great, Mike. Yeah. Me. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, uh, you up for... <laughs> I'd love to, yeah. Okay. You just got to do, uh, you You should figure this out, but you're sort of like the mood guy. You're like setting the scene. I'm setting the mood. Okay. Like maybe like a howling wind or, or, or just a, that's cool. 
Yeah, and you're pretty subtle. <laughs> just keep, just keep that, in, just keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah. You know. I mean, what you're doing. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Once there were some children walking through the woods, and they lost their way, and it was beginning to get dark. And so they saw an old abandoned house up ahead. It appeared to be abandoned, but they couldn't quite be sure. As they discussed, they, they discussed it between each other. So anyway, I got this thing about abandoned houses. Also, I'm very high. <laughs> but they pressed onward. Let's press on. <laughs> they came up to the porch, and as they were about to knock on the door, on the a door. rancid, horrible smell drifted. They were like, did you fart, dude? And he was like, yeah, man, I did fart. It was me. <laughs> Which one of us said that? It was one of the guys. Was... <laughs> but, that's, but that's not important. They knocked on the door. Knock. <laughs> knock. Knock. And the door creaked open. <laughs> For a long time. stepped inside and then it stopped creaking and they stepped inside and they saw over in the corner a trunk and they walked up to it they asked each other who would be the one to open the trunk which of the two of us would be the one to open the trunk as somebody laughed nearby they said, ignore that laughter and let's keep talking about the trunk. Uh, I, 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 I don't know, bro. Uh, I, 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 I've really been into dumpster, dude. I feel like you, you should open the trunk. You know what? I feel like I could take on the world right now. I'll open the trunk. Man, the gears bravest, on a clock, bro. Okay. The bravest of them, whose name was Brian, reached over and started to open the trunk slowly to reveal... A goblin. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. That didn't happen. I made I made that part of the story up. But the rest of this story The rest of the story is true. There was nothing in the in the trunk. But they looked down the hallway and they saw a bedroom. They walked slowly to the bed. One of them urged the others to not walk quite so fast. As they neared the bed, they could see a figure lying under the bed. Yo, was that a fucking figure, my guy? I mean, it's lying in the bed. Damn. And they decided one of them should pull the covers back on Yo, man, the bed. I feel like I was into dumpster, <laughs> but after that fake goblin shit. I'm feeling, I'm feeling ready to pull these covers. Oh, so you, you ready to pull? I'm gonna pull. Okay, look, I'm gonna stand back while you pull those covers. Okay. Right? Okay, okay, I'm standing back. All now. right, three, I trust, I trust two, you. to reveal a dead body. Oh, shit! Yo! One of them was like, is that my grandma? And the other one was like, yeah, that is your grandma, dude. Uh, what? Yo, your and grandma's they got really, dead? They got really sad. Why the fuck are we in this house? Yeah, yeah. Is this your grandma's house? Also, I feel like somebody who isn't either of us is speaking for us for a situation. No, man. we I You told me this was a haunted house. Well, I, Yeah, but then I just heard this voiceover saying that we're saying words. Is that, that your grandma even, or not? I didn't say it, but my grandparents have been dead for years. That's not your grandma. Yeah. That's when they realized... They had both been snorting Altoids. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> this one goes out to Dr. Greenweed. Woo! Yeah. A Halloween tale as old as time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chomo. Yeah.
Uh, 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 action item. Where can everybody go right now to support you financially? Um, uh, You can go to patreon.com slash the possum posse, or you can just go to the possum and uh, you just you just have a listen. Have a snoop around and see what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Snoop around. Do a little snoop. We, need, we need a new single. We need a single to support. That's what uh, we need. Yeah, we, we, need I, I, we need something that you guys you guys put up so we can support it, push it to the top of the charts. We're, but we're, I'm about to record some stuff. All right. So good. for now, you know good. what? It's all just out there. It's just take it's all the, out take, there. Take support it. it, it but go. get ready. Yeah. Get ready, folks, because we're gonna push this motherfucker to the top. Hell's yeah. Uh, Jomo, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It Jomo, good to be champion. Back. Uh, be back. Listen, on your way out, there's gonna be a British guy who's gonna try to get an interview. Just, just uh, walk on by. Yeah. Okay. Just, don't don't even worry. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, hey, Justin. Yeah. Stay tuned to the after show so I ask all the questions that I have about Brian's fucking actual facilities right now. Uh, uh, but for right now, uh, Brian, what have we learned? Uh, you know what? Uh, I would like to defer to Doctor Greenweed uh, to oh, recap yeah. for us. What have we learned? Hey, dudes. First of all. <laughs> I learned that it's kind of cool sometimes to be in the dumpster, bro. <laughs> I've learned that sometimes you can just get 16 fucking points just without really doing that much. I've learned that F1 is a thing that happens. Yeah, extant. Yeah. And sometimes Howard the Duck is there. And Go also... That Dr. Weed is always available. Dr. Green, right. Green, 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 Oh my God. I'm so oh. fucking high right now. I don't know. Shine I'm on you crazy diamonds. <laughs> it's been a great night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddamn. <laughs> is this called the drip? Is that what that is? That's, yeah. Woo! You can. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>